to an episode of Bash's Goofy guys, I'm Bashin, and like always guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and boom, hit that notification bell guys, now let's get straight to the point like I usually do, so I want to take a video, I actually want to take some time to go over, I want to talk about guys, what I've been doing for the past, I want to say 10 years, and I also want to emphasize how this can help you, the viewers, y'all. So over the years, guys, I've been staying on top of <laughs> everything I've enjoyed, which means I've been staying up to date to music, dancing, games, movies, you name it, art, cars, phones, technology, guns, etc. And of course, you know, everything's, you know, your personal preference, guys. Let me make that very clear. When you go deeply into something that you enjoy, everything's personal preference. You know, when we talk about cars, somebody might like a Ferrari, you might like a Lamborghini, you might even like <laughs> Dodge more than Ford, etc. Same thing with guns, it transitions very cleanly with everything, clothes, fashion, music, everything's personal preference. But I do want to get to the point that the civilian market in guns, now, like I said, I've been staying on top of it. So I know the newest tech, you know, whether it's expensive or not. <laughs> so I understand what's out right now, including the new guns, like maybe the example, a good example would be the CC Bren. It came out, I think just last year, maybe 20, close to 2018, but 2017. Now I do want to speak about the new technology like holographic sites, uh, ACOGs, uh, red dots, lasers, you know, all the new high-tech stuff going on guns. We didn't have that back then, uh, especially when I was younger. <laughs> and I do want to speak upon what I've been doing on the 10 years and how does it relate. So for the past 10 years, guys, I've paid attention to everything. So that means paying attention to, in detail, everything I really enjoy, which I'm going to talk about in this video, which is guns. So like I said, guys, there's a there's a there's two markets there's the police and military market which of course they have the highest tank and more lethal and automatic weapons and etc and then they have the civilian market and recently guys the civilian market i'm talking about guns um has definitely matched up you know in correlation with the uh with the military and police department when i'm just talking about guns i'm not talking about artillery or technology but you know we're basically up to par but right here in this video guys i do want to tell y'all i have noticed i think since i played the last call of duty Modern warfare and i think it was four it was the first call of duty to come out that amazed everyone i think in 2007 and then um i do want to speak upon battlefield 3 i think it was um some of the new scopes and um rmrs and red dots and different reticles meaning um you might see a red dot literally and the reticle means you know the dot changes it might be a circle with a dot you know might have some uh, different configurations and stuff like that you might have an arrow etc and um i've noticed that in games you know over the years because i do enjoy games <laughs> and in movies um some of the futuristic technology that you see maybe not too far out but some of the new technology on top of the guns or around the guns coming around the uh, scopes magnification you know the range of the red dot or of the sight um, definitely definitely guys they do speak the truth most of the time I mean of course there's some things you can uh, cross out <laughs> you know it's not gonna happen you know some like alien tech or whatever but um definitely I got some videos right here clips that um, I believe and when I mean I believe, I mean I can almost guarantee you that I know the civilian market pretty well. Like I say, just like anything else I enjoy, I'm on top of it. And I see it going towards some of the weapons you see right here as I'm about to show. Um, everything gets modularized, more compact, and of course, um, 
everybody trying to find new ways to reinvent, you know, if you want to say the wheel <laughs> or the scope in this case, you know, the sight. And um, yeah, like right here, we have this machine gun right here. I think it's um, I think it's called Duty Infinite Warfare. And I loved, um, it surprised me, I played it. I'm not really a big fan of Call of Duty ever since, I think, Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> it may be Black Ops, because uh, it just started sucking after that. <laughs> but um, the main point is, modular technology you can see in this uh, M16, you see uh, the holographic sight. Um, it has two, actually, sights for distance, as you can tell. See right here, I'm trying to <laughs> make it quick. Um, I believe this will be out in the civilian market and of, clue, of course if it's in the civilian market the uh, military and um, Police force. I do want to report. This is a Chris Vector an actual gun But as you can see every time I reload, it's a dual mag If you see at the bottom of the gun right here, you see it has two mags and um, I predict that also is going to be included in the uh, the more newer guns from 2018 on to the future and then as you see this handgun uh, I don't know what kind it is but it's shooting plasma plasma rounds. Now I don't know if you know um, some movies. I don't remember which ones. They actually do shoot plasma rounds, and I believe that's the next ammunition that will be uh, created. Besides the plasma rounds, new ways to reloading. As you can see right here, he's reloading. Um, he's putting a whole slide of uh, plasma rounds into the handgun. Um, this is the stuff I'm talking about, guys. Um, it's not too far off, guys. Plasma rounds. And uh, of course, the new ways of reloading and shifting to guns. If you enjoy the content, guys, again, I'm Bash and Goofy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And boom, always hit that notification bell, guys. I'll see you next time. And like I always say, may you live with some passion.